I can't believe it. The indecency. This early in the morning and SDS is flashing us on Twitter. Uh, sadly, not, not the flash some of you sickos would want. We got flash sales coming back into the game and there are huge, I'm talking huge market implications. Uh, these bad boys are about to crash. We'll talk about how you can make a ton of stubs. Uh, let's get into it. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and get real deep. So flash sale coming later today. Set an alarm for 1 p.m. Pacific time. That's uh, 3 p.m. if you're a normal person. Uh, four if you're a kind of normal person, I guess. And download our MLB The Show companion app to join on the action wherever you are. That is key because if you really want to take part in these flash sales, not necessarily just opening the packs, but making stubs on this, you're going to have to use the app because this is not really going to be a big play tomorrow or even later on tonight. You got to be here for it. And we're going to talk about that. So make sure and download the app if you guys have not. Uh, yes, if you didn't know, they did finally update the iOS app. Uh, I guess that was like two weeks ago. So that was a little bit ago for sure. Uh, but let's go back to what we've seen previously. So now what are flash sales? Uh, pretty simply put, they are packs in the game that are highly coveted for typically cheaper prices, but also reintroducing them. So this was the first flash sale last year. You go into the pack store right now, you see the Home Run Derby set one, which is right there, which is going to be replaced by the All-Star set one. And that's pretty much it. The two sets of future stars, all of the WBBC packs, they are gone and they are likely to be brought back here. Uh, this was one of the diamond choice packs we had last year. And like I said, they typically come at cheaper prices. The packs have been uh, a rich man's game this year. 50,000, uh, 50 smackaroons to open up one of these packs and get 15K worth of shit. So most people haven't really done them, but it should maybe move the cost down to like 30K or something, but it will limit the quantity to like one or two. But also another big thing is live series. So this is always a very... Uh, tricky one. <laughs> uh, do not open this fucker unless, uh, I don't know. You've got like 5 billion stubs on your account right now. Uh, it's bad. It is typically not good. I want to say it's one of five odds at 90 plus. And if you look at the game right now, if you don't get it, if you don't get 90 plus, uh, you're sitting at not much. You know, if you get, uh, good old Freddie Freeman, you are probably gonna lose like 25K. I think this is typically like a 25K, 30K pack, uh, what it is introduced into the game. So uh, it's a rich man sport. If you did pull the top tier, it's not even like previous years either. I mean, Mike Trout only goes for 186 only, right? Uh, he's so cheap, he's practically being given away. He's on the clearance rack. Um, but no, I, I wouldn't really recommend opening these. Some of the other ones, maybe, uh, we'll talk about it on stream, whether or not you should open them. But uh, Live Series, also a really, really fun one they always put in. So now, how does that relate to the game? What should you be doing? And what packs are they going to put out? So... My guess is they put out one per hour starting pretty much uh, content drop. So content always drops 2 p.m. Central Time. I imagine we're going to get five, maybe six packs, which are going to cover a pretty wide variety of different things. Holy shit. Okay. The market is already. That's the interesting thing. So many people are keen into like Twitter and everything that uh, I mean, talk to you. So I was just looking at the guy. He went down like 20K. Uh, since I last looked at them, since they announced that flash sales are coming today. So what would not be a bad thing to do is sell off cards that are in these packs. So Walter Johnson, a headliner, that's something else that they typically like to do. Uh, I guess this year they're being called diamond duos, but uh, same thing, damn it. I wouldn't think it's a bad idea to sell these cards and buy back later at a cheaper price you know you're going to make stubs off of the ordeal very very good so that's one play that you can do if you already have some of these cards on the inverse let's say they put out a diamond duo you know it's a random diamond player which at this point 
there's like 20 different guys that you can get. So I think it's pretty likely they will put that pack into the game. So another, like uh, David Justice, you know, he's another one of those charismas, another one of those guys in the diamond duos. Um, once they are put in packs, they go down in price. You buy them then and you sell them in a few days when they go back up. That's always one of my favorite pastimes, one of my favorite tricks uh, because it's effective, David. It works pretty much uh, every single time. Uh, it's great. Highly recommended. Also, some of the guys from the WBC World Baseball Classic packs, the Future Star packs as well. I don't think it's a bad idea to sell them off and then buy back later. Worst case scenario is if they did not put these packs out because uh, it's different this year. Last year, they had few and far between options. This year, pretty much every single fucking Friday, they put in a new Diamond Choice pack uh, for 50k. So uh, they love them stubblies over at SDS. Uh, tons of other people will see the prices going down. They'll sell themselves and you'll still be able to buy back at pretty much the same price. So I would pretty much say that this is zero risk. Uh, very, very good opportunity cost at what you could be making if you do involve yourself in this right here into the first flash sale of the year. Uh, so yeah, in my prediction then, I would estimate that we're gonna get something along the lines of a future star pack. Now the problem is they have so many sets of all of these different cards. I don't think that they have time to put in both the future stars, um, all three of the World Baseball Classic, the Home Run Derby, a live series, a headliner. They're gonna run out of time. They don't put that many in. So it's a little tough. Maybe they start to combine them together. Uh, like maybe they have one future star pack, which you could pull Jordan Walker and Ellie De La Cruz, who are in two different sets, um, two different sets of the pack rather. You know, just push them together, you know what I mean? Uh, make it into something beautiful. So that is kind of my recommendation there. If you are a little on the fence of selling some of your stuff, that's fine. I'd recommend them just waiting on until they actually drop the stuff and then you reap the rewards. Because let's say if you are on the game and that's the key thing, for live series especially, you have to be on the game. DeGrom will go down probably like 15, 20 K. So it's great if you're looking to finish off collections, if you're looking to store cards for the set collection. So either live series or the uh, set one flashback for Chipper, Babe and Pedro. It's multifaceted. It's both good in each different area. But the key thing is again, that you just have to be there for it. If you want to participate, if you want to be able to make stubs, you've got to at least be on your app to see what's going on. They'll tweet out what pack is out, and then you can kind of adjust from there. But yeah, if they put out headliners, the headliners are going to go down. If they put out home run derby, the home run derby cards are going to go down. It's pretty simple. The path is right out there for you. It's going to drop in about four hours here, so you have time to sell off uh, your team if you do decide to. Uh, like I said, we're going to be talking about it on stream, so if you guys want some further advice, uh, gladly we'll go ahead and assist you there. But uh, very exciting. Huge update today. We also have all-star game packs, like I mentioned. So uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of opportunities. Let's get rich together, baby. Leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy this. As always, uh, twitch.tv slash Legend is where we will be live. And thank you guys, as always, for the support on the Gomer Simpson channel. Uh, catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.